How long do you think you would have to sit on a 14-year-old for them to stop breathing? A 911 call was received on February 27th, 2023 in Jefferson County, Arkansas, about an unresponsive 14-year-old girl. When emergency workers arrived at the home, they found 14-year-old Sienna Roberts. They started doing CPR and transported Sienna to Jefferson Regional Medical Center. Police escorted Sienna's stepfather, Brian Carr, and her mother, Shalette Strong, to the hospital. At the hospital, Brian Carr told police that around 940, he received a call from Shalette saying that she found Sienna on her bedroom floor uh, and she believed that Sienna was choking. Brian rushed home. He tried to perform CPR on Sienna and he is the one that called 911. Sienna was transported by Angel One to Arkansas Children's Hospital. The next day, two tests revealed that Sienna had no brain activity and she was pronounced dead. It was noted that Shalette told Children's Hospital that Sienna had no siblings and that she didn't have a home address, which is like super weird because they told the police that Sienna was in her bedroom and that's where they found her, that she had choked on this orange juice. So it really didn't make any sense. It, it doesn't make sense at all. Shalette also told Children's Hospital that Sienna had been at a birthday party earlier in the day. She came home, she was drinking orange juice, and she just began choking. A few weeks after Sienna's death, police spoke to one of Sienna's siblings, who was a nine-year-old. This nine-year-old told police everything that he knew. He told police that Sienna never went to a birthday party that she got in an argument with her mother, Shalette, and that Shalette started choking Sienna. He told police that when Sienna pointed out that that was abuse that her mother had done to her, Shalette threw her on the floor and Sienna landed on her stomach and Shalette sat on Sienna's back. This young boy told police that he tried to help his sister, that his mother, Shalette, would not allow him to. All while she was sitting on Sienna's back, she made this young boy go and get the cell phone and start calling relatives and telling relatives that Sienna was disrespectful to her. I'm assuming at some point the stepfather, Brian Carr, had been called because the young boy told police that he thought that his sister would survive until Brian got home. The boy told police that Sienna was kicking her feet and saying that she couldn't breathe and that Shalette wasn't budging. He said that his mother, Shalette, made sure that Sienna's head was facing straight down so that she really couldn't turn her head to the side and take any more breaths. He said even when Sienna stopped breathing, that Shalette was still sitting on top of her. This child told police that his mother was the reason that his sister died and that his mother suffocated his sister. In April, the autopsy came back and the injuries that Sienna had were extremely consistent with the events that Sienna's brother described to police. Just this week, more than five months after the death of Sienna, an arrest warrant was issued for Shalette Strong. She's been charged with capital murder. She has been booked into the Jefferson County Detention Center where she is being held. I will update as more information becomes available in this case. This young boy, this nine-year-old, is the reason that his sister will receive justice. Oops.